I'm going to open it up with that mixing bowl because I can pour right from the mixing bowl. I don't need to dirty another utensil like a ladle. I just pour it in there. And you can see it going to the crev crevices there on the side. That's cool. Now before I stuff it, here's a little trick. I'm going to let the bottom set up for just a second. Before I put in my filling, I want that bottom to give my waffle a little bit of structure, even for just a minute, so that my filling doesn't seep out of the waffle. So you can see right away, it's kind of starting to form. It's kind of starting to take shape. Now this is just, I want to show you right off the bat, a very plain waffle, but from this batter, think of any flavor you can. You could add cinnamon in here. You could add cocoa powder, which I'm gonna do in a second to make a chocolate waffle. You can make cherry cheesecake waffles. You can make my favorite, green tea waffles. You could go savory and do a cheddar jalapeno waffle. You could, you know, there's a TikTok trend which is like, will it waffle? You can do that and I love the depth of this stuffed waffle maker because you can stuff it with cheese, you can stuff it with cream cheese. I done a cookies and cream version and like the egg bite maker, go to hsn.com and check out some of those recipes that I've done with Hero Pictures. Thank you very much. You're going to love it. I'm very proud of those pictures. So check it out, hsn.com. I've got a ton of different recipes. I want you to feel empowered. When you get that stuffed waffle maker home, you now know how easy it is to make a waffle batter. But think about the endless opportunities to add flavor into that batter. Cocoa powder, green tea, cinnamon, whatever you like. So now I've got my apple pie filling inside and I'm going to top it with a little more batter just to cover, just to cover those beautiful apples. Again, out of my tilting mixing bowl. So I don't need a ladle. I don't need another utensil. And then I'm going to close it up. Now watch this. Like the egg bite maker, there's a lid and a little handle to lock it closed. And I leave it. I leave it for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm going to check on it. Like the egg bites, don't be afraid. After a couple minutes, I can pop it open and take a peek, not to worry. So here's my basic batter. And like I said, now we've conquered basic waffle batter, flour, salt, baking powder. You've got it. 